Hello and welcome back to the Immigrant Programmers channel. My name is Kritika and as you already know from the title, I just got certified. So recently I completed my CSM training and for those who don't know what CSM is, it stands for Certified Scrum Master. And good news, I also passed the CSM exam. So in a sense, you're now looking at a Scrum Land Certified Scrum Master. Now if you're new to the tech industry or you didn't understand a single word of what I've just said, don't worry. Let me explain you what all this means. So Scrum is one of the most famous, or I guess I can safely say the most famous Agile framework that helps the teams work together efficiently. Now, as opposed to the waterfall methods, Agile project management framework focus on regular incremental deliveries every two to four weeks that continuously provide value to the end users instead of taking months or probably even years to complete and release a product. So let's take an example so it's easier for you to understand. For example, your project is to build an email client, similar to Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo, etc. So if we go by the waterfall approach, the development team, let's say, takes six months to build the entire email client and then the end user will only get to see this email client, complete functional email client, at the end of these six months, right? And now on the other hand, if you use one of the Agile frameworks, let's say Scrum, you will be able to provide small incremental deliverables every two to four weeks to your end user. Let's say in the first iteration, you decide to provide the Compose email functionality. In the next iteration, you take your first increment and build over it. So now you also add the Delete email functionality. So in the third iteration, you can add labels, folders, and so on and so forth. Now the point that I'm trying to make here is that using Agile frameworks, your end user will always be involved in your process since the very beginning. They will be there to give you feedbacks this way, you'll always know that you're building the right product that will exactly fit their need. This is just one of the many advantages of using an Agile framework. Now, the Scrum Master plays a wider role in properly implementing the Scrum framework to fully realize its potential and to maximize the value we get from implementing it. Okay, now I know what you're wondering. Why all of a sudden I'm creating this video out of nowhere? So I believe that if you want to grow out your tech job and you don't want to stay a developer all your life, there's two ways you can do that. And there's two trajectories that you can choose from. Number one, so you're a fresher. You start as a junior developer, then you gain some experience, you go become a senior developer or even a team lead sometimes. Then again, after a good amount of experience, you aim to become a software architect and maybe a super senior developer. And then after some years, you go, you try to become like uh, the director of engineering, blah, 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 etc., whatever you want to call it. The essence is to expand your technical horizon. Now, on the other hand, the trajectory number two would be you blend your technical skills with some good project as well as people management skills. And what you get is a recipe of an organization leader. Then you're a planner, a problem solver, and a helper. And that's what I aspire to be. All right, so if just like me, the latter field interests you more, you can have two choices to follow through. All right, the first option would be you go to a business school, you spend hundreds of thousands of dollars, you graduate with a degree, and then you start looking for a job with as little as three to four years of experience or maybe no prior experience at all. Well, I don't know about you, but I don't feel comfortable going under that kind of a debt as of now. Therefore, what I plan to do instead and what I would also recommend other people to do is no matter what degree you have, you either have a bachelor's, master's or even a diploma. You go out there, you start working, get some hands-on experience, you see how things work in the industry and then you improve yourself. Ask your company to help you get certifications in your area of interest. That's exactly what I did. And you know what? Nine out of 10 times, companies are happy to see their employees grow and they even appreciate that you have this will to hone your skills and they will be happy to sponsor you. Of course, you can explain them how you can add value to their business by learning new skills. Remember, it's always give and take people, always. All right, so that's it for this video. And if you're still here, thank you so much for making it till the end of the video. And as always, don't forget to like the like button, subscribe the subscribe button, share the, oh, I know you get it. And thank you for appreciating our work. Also, let me know what part do you see fit for yourself down in the comment section below. Thank you, have a great day.